Keeping an aquarium is a lot of fun. There are many beautiful fish and plants you can choose from to make your aquarium look amazing. But, just like humans, our precious fish can suddenly become ill. Fortunately, ESHA 2000 can help you battle the most common freshwater diseases, so you can continue with your beloved hobby. In this video, we will show you the behavior of sick fish, the symptoms to watch out for and the best way to treat the diseases. We will show some obvious symptoms such as abnormal swimming, scratching and irregular breathing. We will also take a closer look at the first line of defense against disease, which is the skin of the fish. Change in or loss of color, thick or discolored mucus, fin rot, ulcers, wounds and injuries, fungus, cotton mouth, saddleback and dropsy are all signs that there is a problem in the aquarium. The first sign that something is wrong is often a change in the fish's behavior. If fish rub their bodies and heads against decorations, plants or the bottom, it is a sign that there is an irritation. This irritation can be caused by parasitic microorganisms. Abnormal swimming behavior. Examples are fish clam their fins together, hang listlessly and lethargically near the surface of the water, dwell on the bottom of the aquarium, hide, swim awkwardly or swim with a rolling and swaying motion. Irregular breathing. Abnormal breathing such as heavy breathing, irregular breathing and even slow breathing are signs of illness. Gasping for air at the surface of the water can also be caused by a disease, but is more often a result of oxygen deprivation. Change in or loss of color. Due to illness, the fish's coloration becomes less bright, often resulting in a pale and sometimes even dark looking fish. Some fish can also completely change color due to illness. Thick mucus on the body. The appearance of a white layer on the body or fins of the fish, which is clearly visible when the fish turns, is caused by the secretion of mucus. This is a reaction of the skin to protect the fish from bacterial or protozoan infections. Fin rot. In most cases, fin rot is caused by a bacterial infection, which deteriorates the fins and leads to torn edges with whitish or red fringes. Ulcers. Ulcers of various sizes can appear on all areas of the body of the fish. Usually these ulcers have a bacterial origin. Mechanical injuries and wounds. Open wounds on the body of the fish due to mechanical trauma can vary in severity and location. Examples are teared skin, damaged or loose scales, burns and so on. Sometimes fish are injured as a result of territory fighting or when it is mating season. Or problems arise from putting incompatible species together, which can cause some fish to suffer from the aggressive behavior of another species. Fungi. The appearance of cotton-like patches on the body of fish is generally associated with the fungus saprolegnia, which grows on already damaged skin. Mouth fungus and abdomen discoloration caused by Flavobacterium columnare. When the skin behind the dorsal fin changes color and becomes matted or opaque, and the shape of the discoloration resembles a saddle, it may indicate an outbreak of Flavobacterium columnare. A visually different appearance of columnaris is cotton-like growths on the mouth of the fish, which are often mistaken for a fungus. Dropsy. In the early stages of dropsy, the fish can often still be saved, unless the dropsy is caused by kidney or organ failure. Unfortunately, if the fish already resembles a pine cone, the damage is often irreversible. But what to do if you have bought new fish? When adding new fish to your tank, there is always a risk of disease. We therefore recommend to quarantine new fish to find out that they are sick. 
If it is not possible to quarantine new fish before adding them to your aquarium, we recommend adding half a dose of Escher 2000 and half a dose of Exit. In practice, this greatly reduces the outbreak of infections. We can also use Escher 2000 to prevent fungal growth on fish eggs. When fish mate successfully, but their clutch becomes moldy, we can use Escher 2000 in the next clutch to prevent fungal growth on unfertilized eggs and to save the fertilized eggs. It is very easy to use Escher 2000. The first time we want to use the bottle, we have to break the seal by turning the white cap. Remove the cap and turn the bottle upside down. Press the pipette and count the drops. Those at the outflow of the filter or pump for a quick and even distribution. Or use a fishing net as a stirrer. Do you want to know how many drops should be dosed? Use the dosage calculator on our website, eschalabs.com. In addition, make sure that you regularly clean the bottom of your aquarium and siphon the gravel. Clean the filter and change the water. It is important to diagnose and start treatment as soon as possible, because fish diseases are contagious and the health of the fish can deteriorate rapidly. In severe cases, treatment with Escha 2000 can be extended for several days until the fish have fully recovered, but only if improvement is visible. Escha 2000 is a very easy to use product and is also suitable for prevention and quarantine. After treatment with Escher 2000, it is advisable to use Escher Optima to restore the fish's immune system and keep the fish healthy long term. Escher 2000 significantly reduces the risk of using the wrong product, as it treats common freshwater diseases. It can save your fish, if used in time. Escher wishes you all the best with your aquarium, and don't forget, together we find a solution. Thanks for watching! Did you learn anything new today? Leave a like and please consider subscribing to our channel.